Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution. For those of you joining me for the first time ever, my name is Sabouts, and if you're returning to my channel for another series, I'd like to welcome you back. Uh, this is a game I've already covered twice on my channel. I did a playthrough with Venezuela, and I've done a playthrough with Israel, and now I went ahead and did a vote on my channel community tab. I threw a couple countries in there that were highly recommended for me to check out. And the one that everybody wanted to see was uh, North Korea. So we're going to go ahead and do a world simulation as North Korea, which would be interesting. We're going to have a couple of really unique hurdles that we've got to overcome. I'm kind of excited to see how this works for us. Let's go ahead and jump in. We'll select North Korea. All right. And obviously, we're going to stick with uh, Gim Koizhong <laughs> uh, as our leader. And you can see that most of... I, he's a uh, dictator and he's got... Well, we'll actually take a look at it as we get in. Take a look at our starting situation. There's a couple of things I'm going to want to accomplish. Maybe we'll see if we can go for a unified Korea. That might be really difficult. But uh, it's a possibility, I think. Obviously, developing our nuclear program is going to be pretty big for us. You know, North Korea is working on a nuclear program, so whether or not we can utilize that to our advantage, I'm just going to skip this. It's not important for those of, you, those of you watching for the first time and seeing this game for the first time. That's not important. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead and pause real quick and take a look at our country. And we can see what we're dealing with here. So... Right now, I'd like to take a look at the budget. And budget in billions. So deficit percentage of the GDP, it's actually not bad. Budget deficit is only 0.11 in billions. We could turn that around. We've definitely dealt with much worse. Uh, both Israel and Venezuela had terrible budgets. Uh, and our budget our budget's actually fairly small. 4.8 billion is not that much money at all. That's really small, so we could we could probably work with that that number there. All right, something that we do need to worry about is going to be. I'm almost positive. Well, let's go. Let's keep going down the list here. So, what, who do we who do we owe debt to? Who do we have debt to? We've got debt to France, uh, the United States, Japan, United Kingdom, and India. Okay. And how about, let's take a look at our working sector. I'd like to see how we look in terms of unemployment. Unemployment percentage is pretty good, 4.28%. We can uh, definitely work with that. Good GDP per capita. This isn't bad here. Okay, how about our health? Hmm. All right, so reimbursed doctor visits is pretty high up there. All this coverage. We'll be able to crank all of these up. It won't cost us a lot of money to do that. The uh, ministry's budget has $1.2 billion available. It's just kind of floating with right now. What about our currency inflation? The key interest rate right now is 2.10%. It's a pretty comfortable place to be. Inflation only sitting at a nice 1.97%. The heck is with North Korea right now? This is actually looking like really promising. <clears throat> okay, we'll take a look at the businesses. I want to see our actual uh, parliament. So you can see that the GCP here, obviously, the Grand Collectivist Party is 100% the controlling party. That's because North Korea is a dictatorship. So this should make it fairly easy for us to pass most things that uh, we want to get passed. We're not really going to see a lot of pushback on that so long as it's nothing that goes against. The hardest things will be giving um, any type of rights to our citizens. Now, what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to attempt during this playthrough to try and bring North Korea up to more of a... I'm going to remain a dictator because I don't want to have to manage elections those of you who watch my Israel playthrough will know that that can be a real pain. So we're going to remain a dictator, but we're going to try to maybe bring North Korea up to, you know, a little bit more of a, I don't know, we're trying to try to um, essentially revitalize the country and uh, get a strong economy going, maybe improve relations 
with the Japan, well, with Japan and North Korea. Our biggest allies are going to be Russia. Oh my goodness, are going to be Russia and China. I know we've got allies with some other countries like Iran. Why am I zooming in like this? And my scroll not working good. There. Iran, uh, Pakistan's usually a pretty big ally. Syria, Sudan, um, Nigeria, Thailand likes us. Vietnam, United States hates us. Canada hates us. Mexico thinks Mexico thinks we're okay. Venezuela actually got good relations with them. We're gonna be trying to improve our relations with a couple of people and try to maintain high relations with Russia and China because they're going to be our biggest allies and they're going to be the biggest buffer between worrying about a threat uh, from the South Koreans, the Japanese, and the United States. Any type of aggression we try to pull with uh, South Korea and Japan will definitely result in a instantaneous response by the United States and probably the United Nations as a whole. Um, as North Korea, we have a rare opportunity to maybe trigger World War III. Uh, if we can get China and Russia to join us, that'd be probably, uh, probably funny. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> this is a world simulator. It would be funny. Come on. Okay. So, uh, let's take a look at finance here real quick. So growth forecast. All right. So that we actually got some growth going here. Yes, we have a lot of coal, which is great. We'll be able to sell that to most of our allies and get some good money. Uh, main production, building, housing, and roadways. We've got some hydraulic electricity. Uh, rice, potatoes, chemical industry, uh, cereals, fossil electricity, tourism and hotel trade, which kind of blows my mind, and fishing. All right. And how about our military? Let's actually just look here. Um, we should be able to click here. So we can see overall population is 25.3 million people. we got a GDP of, uh, GDP of about 30 billion authoritarian um all right growth so at least we've got a little bit of growth we could probably get that up to two percent everything else isn't that bad and we've got an army of 1.2 million and we've got 16 nuclear warheads so we do actually have nuclear missile capabilities uh if we take a look at research here we can actually see if we're putting money into nuclear which i'm sure we are military most of our money's in um human and social sciences energy and environment matter sciences some of these can be upgraded ict and cybersecurity industry aeronautic would definitely be something to invest in later on uh nuclear bomb we got before 2018 nuclear fission before 2018 this was discoveries in the world uh, research on matter, rocket engine, laboratories, municipalities. Let's see. So can we... These are matter sciences, which I think is what nuclear missiles... Yeah, the nuclear bomb falls under matter sciences. So we've got the uh, potential to get... You see, we got nuclear plant already, fusion... So cold fusion something. There's a lot of stuff here that can still be researched. Did we... Uh, we're going to need to put more money into matter sciences. Have we actually built... What have we got for... Okay, decent amount of tanks. We got a bunch of missiles, which are not nuclear missiles. They're just missiles. We don't have any nuclear submarines. Okay. We got two satellites though. Okay. Are we investing any money in space? A little bit. Space pr propulsion, which makes sense actually. Astronomy, physics of the universe. Uh, we'll probably keep a lot of this the same. I don't have any issue. Uh, I don't have any intentions of going to space and doing anything right now. A lot of it's just wasted money. Unless you really get into it. Or you play as like a big country that's got the disposable income. Like the United States or something. Or Russia. Uh, we just don't have. We're not going to have the money. I would be spending most of our money on our military. And improving our economy. How are we looking for housing? 
Solapitated houses. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. We could definitely get that cleaned up. Okay, let's take a look at the industries. All right, sector. Uh, we need industry info. And I want to know what is per is getting a percentage of our GDP and how much of it. So building and housing, chemical, soda, steel, computer, electrical, iron, jewelry, water supply, synthetic fibers. Okay, what are we not producing? Computer software, we don't have. Uh, biotechnology, conventional submarines, consumer, diamonds, household appliances, uh, missile launch, um, naval construction, nickel, helicopters, perfumes, nuclear submarines, other surface ships, pharmaceuticals, no pharmaceuticals, no plastic industry, really. No bauxite, uh, satellites, robots, aluminum, no aluminum, hmm. a little bit of robots, kind of, not really, not really. There's something there, but it's not being really used. Okay. Um, tire industry, video games, rare earth, minerals, fighter planes. Okay. All right. So our biggest things are definitely going to be building houseway, housing or roadway, which actually you can get a lot of uh, money from that if you can trade that out. <laughs> Chemical industry and soda, surprisingly. So some of these industries we could probably jumpstart. Uh, maybe do a little bit of subsidizing. Automobiles. Okay, let's take a look at... Let's take a look at the food industry. How are we on food? Because I know North Korea is usually in a pretty rough situation. It's only... It's 8% of the GD, our GDP. What, what do we actually got? Potatoes and rice and cereals being a large part. Fish and fishing. Apples. Tobacco, corn, wood. Beer, fowl, beef, liquor, milk. We've got a really small dairy industry. It'd be nice to grow. Cotton and sugar. We don't have bananas. We don't have coffee. Uh, grapes, oranges, pork, sheep, sugar cane. I'm just kind of briefly reading down. I'm not hitting all of them. I'm just briefly reading down to kind of get an idea. T, surprisingly, a little bit something there, but it's no percentage of our GDP. Uh, surprised, actually, being in Asia, that T's not a little bit bigger in North Korea. That I thought it would have maybe been a little more popular. Um, yeah, we have a terrible, be both beef and milk, so not a very good dairy and cattle industry. Um, okay. And then how about service? So services is definitely our biggest one. So probably um, any type, just any type of service business. Banks actually going down percentage of GDP. Not very large. Everything else is like really minuscule. That's a huge percentage of our GDP. Uh, okay. We don't have any advertising, attraction, parks, courier transportation, fast food, films. No fast food. Hmm. Okay. Really, that's interesting. How about energy? I know coal's pretty large. It's probably the largest. Yeah, that's definitely the largest percentage of our GDP is coal. Uh, almost 16%. Okay. No oil. Hmm. Do we not have oil in North Korea? Let me just take a look real quick. And oil is oil is currently under control of the state. Which we're not producing any anyways. I just wanna see if we have oil. Very weak. We probably don't. 
In my Israel playthrough, we got pretty lucky. We actually found oil. I would have thought North Korea maybe had some oil. We got coal, though. So we could sell our coal. We should grow that, in uh, that industry and maybe subsidize it. Hmm. Yeah, there's not really any oil in North Korea. Well, North Korea is pretty mountainous, right? So... All right, let's, uh, we're not going to build that. All right, t okay, terrorist suspects. Yeah, what do we got for terrorism? The North Korea Democratic Forces. They've got 126,000 sympathizers, 10,000 followers, and a budget of 147,000. Hmm, they're going to be, they're going to be a pain. Okay, we're going to place him under surveillance and we're going to try to infiltrate them. I think we've got a pretty good agent. Ooh, yeah. Now, this isn't that great. We definitely need better cybersecurity. All right, we're going to go ahead and unpause. we got a couple things that we're going to focus on. We don't have too much money, so we're going to want to sell. All right, let's go ahead and start doing a little bit of training. We're trading. We're going to request a meeting with China because they're our big allies. Or we're going to request a meeting with... Russia, uh, with Iran, nah, let's not trade with Iran. At least China and Russia kind of have some relationships with the United States. Iran and the United States are not good. I am going to meet with the United States. I'm going to ignore Venezuela, Pakistan. I'm going to ignore. We can meet with China, uh, with Thailand, and we'll meet with Vietnam. So we'll have a lot of meeting over the uh, meetings over the next couple days. All right. Next, let's go ahead and spend some of our money. Um, it's very cheap if you dump money into these down here. So we're just going to go ahead and max these out. That'll get us a lot of political support. I think services for the handicap is where. Nope, that's pretty cheap too. Yeah, see, only 10 million so far for all this stuff. That's not bad at all. Maternity, I think, is where it gets expensive. Nope, it's still cheap. Occupational medicine. Modernizing medical equipment. This is all really cheap. So we'd be crazy for 12 million. I mean, that's nothing for what this is. Now, coverage for maternity leave, it starts to get expensive. So let's just leave these top ones for now. Because I know these ones are all really, yeah, see, these ones are really expensive. Coverage for work accidents. See, these all get expensive. But these top ones here, we can max them all out. So for $12 million, let's go ahead and confirm that. Ministry will revise that. So that'll be great. We'll get a huge boost, or we should get some boost from that. And then we can actually go ahead and talk to some of the people who lead those organizations, like the fight against AIDS, and we'll have them speak out My informants for us. Reported the temperature in the streets regarding okay. Okay. There it is. Nice. Great popu uh, population boost. Our team is in for $10 million, it's worth it for that. That doesn't even affect hardly any of our budget. What did the health department have as a budget? It's like a billion dollars. Yeah. So we could spend some of that there for $10 million, We get the 10% the approval. All right. Let's go ahead and go quickly to associations. We don't have... Wow. We have very little associations. All right. Let's... Let's meet with the AIDS Association. He'll speak highly of us. Uh, we can meet with the Family Association, who who actually uh, might not speak highly of us because they don't really... The AIDS, yeah, he likes us a lot. Uh, seniors, yes, and she'll give us a big boost too. Um, women, probably not. Actually, she likes us too, but family, we... So maybe not the family one. Okay, anti-racism doesn't like us. Foreign. Chinese community. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we'll leave that alone. We're going to meet with those associations and have them speak highly of us, get uh, some good word in the press. 
Uh, maybe we'll try to connect some highways and roads to Russia. That'd be kind of nice. And some trains. We've got what appears to be some type of highway here. And here. These are highways? Are they? No. Yeah, they're highways. So we've got some big highways connecting those cities. Uh, if we could do a highway from here to here, it wouldn't be a bad idea. And then from here to here. Probably cost us a lot though. We'll, we'll get some money freed up first. Not worried about space research. All right, so here's our meeting with him. Give him some coffee. No. Champagne, there we go. Um, let's see if he'll speak highly of us. Okay. Perfect. So that'll give us a boost. What is my meetings with uh, the other countries? Should be fairly soon. I must. They added more suspects to our terrorist file, so let's take a look at that. One more guy here. We'll place him under surveillance. Oops. Okay. Sure. Dark and strong. All right. Will you speak highly of us? Well, your family. So you didn't really care that much for us. So we're not going to ask her to do that. Um, we'll just end the meeting. She she wasn't, I don't think, high enough that we're going to get a boost. Having her do that. Where's most of our money going into? Wow, actually 52.5% is going into defense. There's that statements in the press bonus. Yeah, we could do that in a second. ICT, so upgrading internet. All right, President of China, our first meeting. Let's get coffee okay. here, okay. Let's create a sales contract. What can we sell you? What does China want? Obviously coal, probably. Well, they produce a lot of their own coal, so probably not. I have a large production. They've got a large production and a consumption, but yeah, they're going to produce way more coal, which makes sense. What else do we have that they would want? Cement, they produce way more. Cereals, they produce way more. Yeah, China's probably not going to... Building and housing and roadway and construction, they produce way more. Computer hardware, they've got a larger consumption. We can make $135 million off of computer hardware. Average purchase price, okay, we're going to stack it a little bit higher. Yeah, we don't want it to be that much or that uh, little. We got to at least get it up to 100 or close to, or at least in the 90s maybe. 106, 104. Come on, at least hit the 90s. 100. Too many negotiations, okay. Try that again. Okay, I let me see if I can get it to high 80s again. 77. One more. Ah, they accepted for 94, so there's 128 million, okay. Oh. Do I save everything else for other countries? What else did we have? Fish. They've got pretty large production. I know we had a little bit of corn. Actually, we had some milk, but not enough. Tobacco. No, they produce more. Yeah, they're going to produce more of a lot of this. Trees, which we actually have a pretty large production of. 110 million. I feel like we could do better, though. We could do better in money. All right, so we're going to wait till we meet with Russia and some of these other countries. 
All right, but we'll pause it here and leave it off. This is a good place to leave it, 66% approval, but we've just begun. We've got a lot of things to do to try to make North Korea a little bit more prosperous. Eventually, I'm gonna wanna start giving some citizens some rights, but that can sometimes backfire too. So we'll just have to test the waters and see how all of it goes. Um, taxation is something I wanna visit as well. So yeah, lots of things, we'll be very busy. Uh, with that being said, if this is your first time at my channel, definitely consider hitting subscribe. Uh, it's a great way to keep up with the release of new videos. And on top of that, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and uh, let me know what you would like to see with North Korea. Maybe if you guys got any special challenges or like things you'd like to see me accomplish, I'm definitely open to hearing anything you guys have. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.